So let's start looking into some UI. Let's start making some AngularJS code because now we want to present the data. Right now we have no way to actually create a syllabus. We're going to look at that as the first step. Let's just call it a syllabus a course. I don't care for the naming. But what we want to do is to, this is our live environment. We want to create, make, change this into something more like this where you can add a new course. Now it won't be the same UI, but it will be, we will have the add button here. And that will be the first step of our uh, AngularJS setup. Before I can do that, I want to do a few things. I want to, first of all, I want to actually remove everything. I want to start from scratch to show you guys how to get going with the Angular um, full stack and how to make a route from scratch. So we're going to delete everything as the first step here. Now, if you haven't done it already, I want you to check out um, the version called uh, version 01, and then I'll force it to make sure that it'll absolutely clean everything if I made some local changes. So you have to do something like this to get going. Now, what it means is that you have a, um, an app with an account and admin. We'll keep those. And then you have a main and a syllabus, and uh, we'll just delete those two. So those folders will be deleted. I'll move them to the trash. And now everything will not work anymore because um, I just removed all the code pretty much. So let's just stop the grunt, shut it down. So now grunt service also shut down. And now what I want to do is make a route from scratch. I'll make the first route and I'll just, I'm, I'm on the full stack. And if I go to um, the generator section, there's something called endpoint. That was the one we used earlier to make a REST API, but there's also one called route. That's the one I'm, gonna, I'm going to click on. And then I'm ending up here in the route section. And I want to copy the lines right here. There we go. And I go into my node server here. Oh, sorry, my, my command prompt. And here I want to make the first route. And I'm going to call it syllabus. That's the first route I want to create. And that's going to be my main page. That's where I'm going to see the very first as the first thing when I enter my site. Now, adding this route, um, it'll ask me a few questions. So generating the route, it'll ask me, where do you want to put it, the actual folder to keep all these files? Now, I just want to add the folder under client app. So I'll just keep the default information and press enter. Now it asks me, what do you want the route to be called. Since this is going to be my root of the application, I'm just going to add slash here. So I'll press enter and it actually creates the folder for me, looking a lot like the one we had before, but now it's completely empty with only information about um, a syllabus. There's no CSS at all. And there's the JS file says, when you hit slash, you'll hit this route. And let's, instead of calling it syllabus, let's call it main, because this is going to be my main area that I will actually hit. That's just the way I call my my root of, of all my application. So let's restart the application and see if we can actually now hit our main route. Uh, whoops, that was the wrong console. Boop. Let's do a grunt serve again and see if we can actually start up in the root like we're supposed to. Um, it'll start up my application. Now that's kind of boring, but that means that we have access to our new route. And uh, let's just, before we end this lesson, add a footer and a header to this route. So let's uh, move into the HTML. And at least I want to have a nav bar here. So I'll just write nav bar. Now that's actually pointing to one of the components down here called the nav bar. So this is where I'm getting the code. You can look at that later if you want to. But I just want to add that in so that it looks more like what we had before. Now, the styling is not that pretty anymore. You'll have to live with that. I don't want to change that right now, but we could add some, some pretty fine styling later. But now you actually made your first route from scratch in an AngularJS setup. Next, we'll add the button and try to figure out what else we can do.